Hello, Joellen Litz back in my kitchen and we're going to make another Pennsylvania Dutch dish today and we're going to make hog maw. Now hog maw is Pennsylvania Dutch for pig stomach. You got that right, a pig stomach. So what you need are some of the basic ingredients we usually use. For instance, I have to have potatoes and carrots and um, we're, I have many of them already cut, but we'll cut the last couple here just so you can see. I use these little ones because they're so nice and I, I really like the uh, bite sizes of them, but I cut them in half or in thirds. And then of course the potato is a staple for Pennsylvania Dutch cooking and they have to be cubed. So I cut, these are rather large potatoes. I just have two of them and we're gonna cut it get it into those cubes there we go and one more time there we go now we have a bunch of cubed potatoes so I'm going to put the carrots and the potatoes into my large bowl. And the next ingredient you need, of course, is a little bit of hog. And this particular hog is in the form of sausage. So I picked up a roll of this Jimmy Dean sausage and we're going to open that. And it's not in a casing or anything, so it should mix in there almost like hamburger would mix in. There we go, it's coming out. A little slow, but it's getting there. One big piece of sausage, okay. And then we're just going to add two eggs so that when it bakes, because we will bake this, that it all bakes together and stays into almost like a meatloaf, I guess you would say. So two eggs. There we go. And then it's always good to salt and pepper to taste. So I'm just gonna put about a teaspoon of salt in there. I use the palm of my hand, it doesn't have to be exact. And we're gonna grind a little bit of pepper in there. Don't use a lot, but some. Okay, and then we're going to mix this all together. Just like a meatloaf. So you might think that the sausage is the reason they call it hog maw because obviously sausage is made from a pig. It's ground up meats and scraps that they put together. But in reality, hog maw is the stomach of a pig. So I've got my ingredients fairly well mixed together here. And it just looks like mixed up carrots, potatoes, and sausage and eggs. I'm going to wipe my hands here a little bit. So I can show you. I went down this wires this morning. So if you're local, that's near Five Points in Lebanon. And uh, they had a frozen pig stomach. It was $6.99, I believe. So I have it thawed out now. And it's simply looks like skin it is actually a pig stomach they clean it all you have to do is rinse it off a little bit and it forms a pocket if you will or a cap and you just take your sausage and start putting it inside 
and filling that skin and you roast it in the oven at about 350 for an hour 325 if your oven cooks real fast and when it's done the skin is a nice golden brown and it's actually quite tasty my husband likes this so this is a real treat for me to make this for him and uh, I think he'll be very pleasantly surprised when he sits down to the dinner table tonight. I might make a little tomato sauce on the side or stewed tomatoes they call it. So as you can see this skin is getting pretty full but it does stretch just like your stomach does. And you can pin it together with toothpicks um, or whatever you want to or just fold it over if you don't fill it all the way up and I'm just about got everything inside there's a little bit here yet so we have to find a dish to bake it in but there it is one big pig stomach stuffed with the sausage potatoes and eggs And carrots don't forget the carrots they're very healthy for you okay I'm gonna wash my hands and I'll be back with my baking pan I always like to spray my pan and my lid with uh, Pam just so that it doesn't stick so hard and it makes cleanup a whole lot easier it's that simple and then I'm gonna transfer the hog maw from my bowl to my pot and I'm going to flip it over so that the open side is concealed and the top should roast nice and brown so this is what it looks like in a pan when we start and we're going to take it over here to my old-fashioned cook stove and we're gonna fire it up And we got the flame, and in goes the pig stomach. We're going to let it cook for about an hour, and then we'll be back.